A South LA church says it's been the target of repeated vandalism, costing thousands of dollars in repairs. The pastor says his requests for help fell on deaf ears until two on your side stepped in. And CBS 2's Christine Lazar joins us now with what happened, Christine. Pat and Rick, this is a church that's serving an underserved community. They rent a space for their offices and their sanctuary, and they say no matter how hard they try, they can't keep the vandals away. This one first, all right, then they couldn't do that. Then they came back. To this side. Pastor Eugene Bryant showed me the repeated and relentless vandalism his South LA church has endured. They had defecated over the floors. From the gross to the destructive. After they came, you know, out of the bathroom, they kicked this door in. To the costly. This was where uh, our security ADT was. How much money do you think you've spent? on all of these repairs. It has been a, a nice sum, a nice sum, I would say in the thousands for sure. The new Philadelphia Missionary Baptist Church has dealt with this for years, but earlier this month they say they were hit three times in one week. What do you think when you look at this damage? Heartbroken because of the fact that what we do here is for the people. Pastor Bryant told two on your side, enough is enough. It's almost to the point that if you weren't committed and convicted and consistent in your calling, you just want to pack up and say, okay, you got it. The church asked for our help after their own efforts failed. They put up security lights, someone broke each and every one. They put up a fence and someone cut through it. They say they've called the police again and again. The week before we went out to the church. I called them about 530 the first time. That was on Wednesday night uh, at 10 o'clock. No one had come as of yet. Pastor Bryant thinks the solution is increased patrols. His church backs up to a dark alley off Imperial Highway. We're not asking anyone to give us no handout. Uh, we're willing to do what it is that we can do. But again, we need individuals to make it safe for us to do that. And we want that too. So we re reached out to the councilman who represents the neighborhood where the church sits, and he went to work. Councilman Harris Dawson's office tells us they've been assured by the LAPD that they will increase patrols outside the church, and they just got the green light today from the DWP to install lighting up and down the alleyway. And since they already have the poles in the alleyway, I'm told those lights can go up almost immediately. And I'm sure that is going to help. They're very excited. They just want to be able to go and, and attend church and, and worship and, and not have to worry about vandals. And help the community. I, yes, I instead of spending it. money on repairs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thanks to you. Thanks, mm -hmm. Christine. Can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on Twitter. Use the hashtag Two on Your Side, and Christine will see what she can do to help you solve it.